Hey, Ellen. What now, Chris? Welcome to what's got to be day two I think so. of the 2018 California Spring Trials. Hey guys, it is busy here. It is. And where is here? Here is uh, Floranova. Floranova in Santa Paula, California. Yeah. Uh, it is our second day of trials. And so we're far, gonna so take, good. We're going to take, so far, but the, uh, the week is young. Anything can happen. Don't get on my nerves. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hey, we're going to take a look at flowers and your favorite and vegetables. vegetables. So let's head that way and do just that, shall we? Okay. Ellen, did you ever use to rent videos? Uh, back in the day, yep. Back in the day Block from a place oh, called Blockbuster. Blockbuster. See, they're out of business, so the that. name was available. And Florida <laughs> took them for this new Vinca series that they've got called Blockbuster. So, um, so what F1 they've, this is an F1 mm -hmm. Vinca, and they say this is bred in Costa Rica. That's what they said. Which is pretty hot so and humid. So it can tolerate uh, hot conditions. Right, so bred for vigor and big flowers. That's one of the keys. Now these are, are, are compact. Mm -hmm. um, and early. Uh, and early, like their other series, Vitesse. But and look at the flower size. Well, that's really the key here. That is a big, large flower there. Big and large, both. Big and, and large. And notice no gapping in there. Nice, full flower. There is a range of 10 colors. I believe so, yes. And my favorite is this wonderful uh, icy watermelon. It's the first time I've ever, ever, ever heard that uh, name combination, icy right. and watermelon. And they've got, a, uh, they've got a dark red as well, which is pretty good red there. There's also a red with eye, which is real pretty as well. So that's the, the Vinca Blockbuster series. Now, here's a real old-timey kind of a, an annual ivy geranium. A true ivy from yeah. seed. Pretty traditional here, but that's that's what Florinova is really good at. This is the Reach Out series. Mm -hmm. And uh, the real nice one is uh, this one up here. Lots and lots of blooms on it. Uh, Reach Out White. I like that uh, darker pink coloring in the middle. Yeah, a nice range, six different colors. Now here's the key, F1 hybrids. These are from seed, and so you know they're a good kind of a lower cost option for a grower looking for mm -hmm. packs, well jumbo packs, small pots, right. all the way up to baskets. And what I really like is, uh, well they compare against uh, the Tornado series, mm -hmm. which is out there, uh, but but they say these are, they, they stay more compact. And that is just a beautiful yeah. habit. And look how shiny green that foliage is. So that's the- they're uh, compact yet they don't tangle, uh, which is also key. When you got those small pots yeah, on the bench, yeah, yeah. you don't want that. So we'll swing down here past their uh, Bright Sparks Celosia series, which has one new introduction. Mm -hmm. uh, Burgundy. Burgundy. Gen Z, you want to do your thing there? Oh, yeah. She always does that. <laughs> and who can blame her? And then let's see, in the uh, free fall uh, pansies, they've got... Uh, uh, some experimentals that you see going across the back here. I particularly like the, uh, the morpho. morpho in the center there. That's one of my favorites. The Belviso Viola series gets some improvements. They're right across the bottom here. Uh, yellow. Marina. That's a nice color. And yellow blotch. And then also in pansies, hanging basket type, their Freefall XL, this was introduced uh, uh, last year. They should have it last soft, year. Soft launch, full official launch mm -hmm. this year for the whole series. XL. And they're already showing XL some large. experimentals, including this very nice, uh, well, that is a, that's not an experimental, but the, the red blotch Fire is experimental. Up there to the right. Uh, and the red wing down here to your, to your right is one of the new ones. So beautiful colors. Hmm. Uh, but vegetables. Mm. Ellen, you love your veggies? I do. They've got you covered over here. I am excited. Let's go see a few of them. Summer last, Ellen. Summer at last. <laughs> Summer. Oh, no. <laughs> it's still not even spring in your neck of the woods. <laughs> no, oh, not my. Really. Hey, this is vegetables, tomato specifically, yes. and we're looking at one called Summer, Summer last. last. Tell us about it, Ellen. Well, it's a F1 pot type 
um, cherry, well not really cherry size, maybe cocktail size, and it is meant to actually uh, uh, keep the leaves, the lower leaves, on the plant all summer long. Most of the time they senesce, uh, these stay green um, all season, and they, it just keeps producing. An the, excellent patio item, for sure. Yeah, and, and the one of the things they're going for in their vegetalis line of veggies is disease resistant. They've yeah. got great varieties, now they're going for lots of like yeah. uh, TOMV no, resistance. But this one is TMV resistance and uh, light, light resistance, which is yeah. so important nowadays. Ooh, yes, now in uh, peppers, peppers, we've got some, some nice ones here. This one is called Longhorn. It's a, it's a hot chili pepper. Let me slip right up on in here. And um, this is a uh, actually a mild pepper, and it'll it'll turn red. I thought this would be great in a vinegar sauce. You put it in a uh, like a, uh, a, yeah. a, a jar of vinegar and one of those, and yeah. it's great on your black-eyed peas. I would uh, pickle it. I would also use it in Asian cuisine. There you go. How about, what side what you would have you there? What would you do with this one? This one's called Alter Ego, which is a, an unusual name. Why right. did they give it um, a, the name Alter Ego? Because it's sweet and hot. Ah, it's got a, a little, little bit of both going on. It's got a good side on. and right. a bad side, Right. they said. And this, this one is T-O-M-V resistant. And that's Tospo Mosaic. Topso Mosaic? Virus, oh, okay. yes. Okay. I'd accidentally put that on the tomato. Tomato ah. is T-M-V. This is uh, T-O-M-V. Resistant. Peter says it has a nice burn to it. Yeah. Mm, yum. <laughs> it burns so good. Last but not least, Liberty Bell oh. is a traditional sweet pepper, but it's a bush type. Right. And, and it ripens to orange, by the way. Oh, okay. Uh, Jay Z's got a nice oh, uh, there it picture is. of that over here. Also, TOMV resistant, loads and loads of fruit. And it's uh, Liberty Bell. Bell has an E on the end of it. And obviously makes a great little combo planter. Yeah, look at that. So that is a, uh, a brief look at some flowers and some veggies from mm. a very, very crowded day two yeah. here at Florinova at the 2018 California Pepper Trials. Pepper Trials.